Hello everybody, this is Kevin Big Dog Bricks, and right now I have the Lego Star Wars Palatine's Arrest. The set number is 9526 with 649 pieces. It includes six Lego figurines. The age in this set was 9 and 14. And the re release for this was 2012. And the price for this was $89.99 in the U.S. Now let's go on to the Lego figurines. Right here you have Emperor Palpatine. Palpatine is, is in his red outfit galore. And when you lift his, ha his hair piece up, he does have another facial expression. This is the scene when he's using his dark side So yeah, he does have this angry look here and then more furious look on here too as well. But great all the way around on here. Anakin Skywalker is in this set. He does come his blue lightsaber. Pretty nice detail to that all the way around. He does have a little bad back printing torso on there. Pretty nice detail on that. And he does have a two double head face, which is his angry look. And then his nice look there face. Which is pretty nice to that too on there as well. Wisp Windu is also included in this set. He does come with a purple lightsaber. Very nice detail to that too as well. No really back printing on him on this one. On this one. But great figurine to include in this set. Pretty nice detail all the way around. Agent Kohler is actually in this set too as well. I do like that this is actually rubber. Which is actually pretty nice detailed on there. But pretty nice detailed blue lightsaber. And just a little bit. I mean just like not a whole lot. But just some back printing on there too as well. But great cool fun Lego figurine on here too as well. And he's actually exclusive to this set. Which is actually... A pretty nice detail to it as well on that. Kid Fisto is also in this set too as well. Just all the great way around on here. And the cool thing about this Lego figurine is that his head piece, this whole head, is actually made of rubber too as well. On there. On there. And then you can tell on the back he doesn't have any back printing on there either but pretty nice to get on that one on there see that on is actually also part of this lego set too as well he's actually kind of interesting because um this is actually like rubber too as well but this is my first time ever getting him as a lego figurine pretty cool overall does come with the green lightsaber as well which is actually pretty nice that you get mostly a lot of the lightsabers in this set and they're all different colors to green and blue and purple as well which is a pretty nice detail in the set as well and also a great figurine on here too as well now let's move on to the set the ship here this is when Etikin jumps onto a ship and lands on it which is actually pretty nice detail all the way around you do have a sticker there and a sticker on there too as well and another sticker piece up here as well this lifts up and the nice thing is etikin does fit in there really really well just like so and then etikin is ready to go you do get two flick missiles on here, which is that one 
and on that pretty nice detail to it all the way around and I do like it how they use the sloop white pieces all the way around and on the back of it is these little engine things here these can just move just a midge up and down on both sides but great detailed all the way around on the ship to on there as well and then you can do is if you put this together this landing piece here is the holding piece on that which is a pretty nice landing piece as well take that off for a minute and then um you can tell that there's a blue piece of uh, each end Coming up here all the way up is just a little entrance way, gateway. You have these two cups here with a cone piece here. And this is my favorite thing about this set is these doors slide open, which is actually pretty nice. So you can have one person there and another person just chilling on the other side, just like that. Pretty nice detailed on that, which is actually a really nice thing on that. And the cool thing about this is that on the main feature in this set is that you can also connect it to here, to here, which is pretty nice detailed to it too as well. So then when you're looking at this way, you can enter it from this direction here. Take it off again on here, put it in the middle, which is also another nice detail on there from the, that way point of view, and from the right side as well. You can have it facing it go like that way too as well which is a pretty nice detail to it in the set, which I think is super cool that you can have it all three different ways in it. And then you got two of the exactly the same statues on each side. They both, all of it moves up here. And you can have the dish up here. The chairs are pretty nice to have up here. The master chair up here does not move. This actually is a tile piece there which is a pretty nice detail to it as well. And the cool thing about this is if you have a thing, a person here, that just makes them go flying. And same on the other side too. That does make them go flying by using the force on that. My fa this is kind of like a little cool little hidden feature is Albert Valentine's lightsaber is just hidden from that too as well which is actually pretty cool with the golden thing there and then on the other side is the dark side when he uses his little lightning rod to um, try to kill his enemies from there which is nice detail to that which is a nice feature into that and the glass windows are pretty nice addition to that too as well and this little peg here is a little interesting thing on this one is if you have a figurine standing like here, like on top of here, and this peg actually moves, he'll just completely just fall down and off the edge it goes. Which is a pretty fun little fin feature on that. And if you do it like mostly off the edge like this way, or just say right here, this is actually pretty, it's actually fun when you have it like mostly over the edge, is if you pull this, just like that, he does go down, pretty much down to the ground. It's more that, and I gotta say, it's such an nostalgic build to it, and what a great set this is. Now I gotta say, let's move on to the final bricks and the instructions. This is what the front of the box looks like. 
And this is on the back of the box. Looks like with all the fun different features and playabilities in this set. For the instructions, you get this huge instruction booklet, which is a really nice detail on that. And on the back of it, you do get an advertisement for all the other sets that came in that wave. And also all the Lego figure, all the Lego Star Wars characters that came out that year with the number sets on that. To so that way, you can check out the LegoStarWars.com for that, and also an advertisement for the Lego Star Wars Three: The Clone Wars video game, too, as well. As much I gotta say, this is such an awesome Lego set to review and I gotta say I would definitely rate this a definitely 10 out of 10. It's a great Lego set and I hopefully one day it'll be cool if Lego does a UFC version of the set which is more bigger better than before from this one which is actually a pretty nice detail to it all the way around on that. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. The, don't forget the put the bell notification on if I'm posting any videos. And please leave a comment down below. And have an awesome day, everybody.